After you have successfully installed the new Wacom driver and connected your Cintiq Pro 27, the new Wacom Center will appear on your screen and this is the new interface for you to adjust and to configure all the different features of your Cintiq Pro 27. In this quick walkthrough I will explain you how to choose and how to adjust some of the more prominent settings. First of all, what you see here is the basic layout where you can find a schematic display of your Cintiq Pro 27 and the new Pro Pen 3. And you see here, if I hover with my pen above this one, you will see um, some corresponding entries where you can adjust, in this case, touch and gestures or the display settings, or here you can adjust the Pro Pen 3 settings or your Express Key settings. Um, also, in the upper area of this window, you will see some tabs where you can also have different settings. For example, this is the device setting. You also have a tab with the on-screen shortcuts where you can adjust and uh, create your own uh, on-screen shortcuts instead of keyboard shortcuts. This will be covered in a different video. You can have your user profile, you can have some settings, but let's focus on the devices first. And if you click on here on the left on Cintiq Pro 27, you will see all the different options to adjust. You will see the Pro Pen 3, you will find the Express Keys, how to adjust touch and gestures, and how to set up your display. Let's start with the Pro Pen 3 configuration first. If you click here, you can see all the settings um, assi you can assign to your Pro Pen 3 pen, like the uh, pressure curves, tip sensitivity, and also the settings of the three buttons and the pen tip. Next, you have the Express keys. You have four of both of each side, so eight altogether. Here you can change them by gently clicking on the respective entry. You have touch and gestures, where you can basically do your basic touch gestures or your advanced gestures, or you can currently also disable touch. And also you can um, enable the new selective touch feature. And on display settings, it gives you a quick guidance how to adjust your display settings like screen brightness, color space, and uh, contrast by using the on-screen menu. Uh, 